go. Hi guys, my name is Chef Lea, also known as Cooking Miss Kitchen. Kumusta kayo mga kakuking ina, kakuking ama, kakuking anak, at kakuking ina niyong lahat. So, Happy New Year guys. So, as I promise, I will be sharing with you new videos na nandito. Kung mapupunan niyo, nasa Apicious Kitchen tayo. So, I'm very, very excited to share with you guys um, our first episode for this segment. Natawagin na natin, ano, um, Ano yun? Go with the flow ako. Wala akong script ha guys. So, today, ang i-share ko sa inyo is about the plated dish. Alam niyo ba guys na itong plated dish was just uh, recent, hindi naman recent kasi for the longest time in the history, um, tawag dito, ang ginagamit sa Western European cuisine ay yung tinatawag natin serving na ala hook. So, ibig sabihin ito yung manner of dining that involves courses being brought to the table sequentially. Ibig sabihin pa isa-isa. Okay? So, isa-serve ng waiter yun. Iikot yung waiter tapos saka hanggang lahat ng guests maservan and then yung the next course and then yung mga susunod na course. So, um, tawag dito, in 1960, in ng isang father ng dalawang French chefs na sila Pierre at Jean Trois Gros. Sana na i-pronounce ko siya ng Tama, uh, sila ang nag-pioneer ng practice ng plated uh, dish. Ito ay ginawa nila noong 1960. So, in 1966, they started uh, using yung 32 cm or 12 and a half inches na plate. So, for today's video guys, I will be sharing with you yung paggawa ng crystal quill. So, ito yung pwede nyo ilagay sa mga uh, plated dish nyo to add accent. Ito yung garnish. Actually, of course, lahat naman ng nilalagay natin sa plato natin should be edible. So, for today's uh, video, guys, gagawa tayo ng twill, crystal twill. So, ang ating ingredients for today ay we have uh, 100 ml of oil. Kahit anong oil ang gamitin nyo. Uh, it really depends on you but it's safe na lang din na gumamit tayo ng vegetable oil. So we have here 100 uh, ml of vegetable oil. We have 30 grams of all-purpose flour and then ito, dalawa yung magiging ano natin, dalawa yung magiging uh, color ng quill na gagawin natin. We have this paprika and saffron. We will prepare uh, saffron tea for this particular recipe para magkaroon siya ng kulay red. And then I'll be using just a food coloring na green for the other uh, other variant ng ating quill. Okay? So, let's start. Okay, so for today, ang gagawin natin ay we have 2 ml, 200 ml, 200 ml of water. So, yung saffron tea muna gagawin natin. So, we have the water. And then, we have the local saffron na gagamitin natin. So, we will just allow this to boil. And then, we will add the paprika para mas intense yung color red niya. Okay? So, we have one tablespoon of saffron and paprika. Okay? So, we will just, you know, stir this until it boils. And then, I can already see the color. It's red. So, you can actually take a closer look here. <laughs> yeah. Kasi, para... Pag boiling, pwede na natin i-ano yung, ano, yung fire. Taasan natin siya. So, this one. Okay. So, yan guys, uh, we will just wait for the saffron tea to boil and it's actually uh, boiling right now. Almost boiling na. So, yan. So, nag-boil na yung ating saffron tea and paprika. So, we will just allow this to steep or palamigin muna natin siya for like 20, uh, 10 minutes lang. So, now, nag-cool down na yung ating saffron tea. So, like so. So, like so. Like so. So, i-mix na natin yung oil. That's 100 ml of oil. Vegetable oil. And we have our all-purpose flour, which is 30 
grams. So we will just mix this all together and then we'll incorporate it. Okay. And then we we'll start to heat up our pan. Go. So yeah, na mainit na yung ating pan. And then it's important guys now we use non-stick pan for this particular um, recipe ng tuwil kasi iiwasan natin na dumikit siya. So for this one, nag gumawa lang ako ng isang parang uh, shape niya. So, ayan. And then we will just wait for this one to cook for like 3 to 4 minutes. Pero parang marami yung ano. So yan guys, um, nagpalit na ako ng pan kasi yung kaninang pan nag uh, ano siya, pumupunta sa gilid yung mga content, yung mga food items kaya uh, hindi maganda yung magiging resulta niya. So I changed the pan into a smaller one and then kukundian ko lang din yung uh, pano natin para mas mabilis siyang maluto. So Actually, we need medium heat lang dito. Although it's very tempting na mag-high heat tayo. But we are trying to achieve yung gradual cooking lang na. So, ayan. Dahan-dahan lang siya. Done with our first twill. So, ito yung itsura na. Okay. Okay. So guys, uh, I have another uh, color here for the quill. So I use green food coloring for this particular um, recipe naman, which you can use for your dessert. So actually the quill, we have two, uh, no, two variants actually, which you can use for your savory dishes and you can also use for your desserts. Decorating and plating. Para lang makita niyo lang yung effect niya. So this is how it looks like, guys. And then we have our, eto pwede ko sa dessert. So you have this lovely twill over here. So yan. And then you can actually put it like so. And then we have another one here. Kunyari, mashed potato siya. Yan. Just to make it look lovely. So, ayan. You have your another twill over here. So, you can actually put it like so. Go. So, this is our uh, finished product. We have this one and we have this one. So, guys, if you like this kind of video, please consider liking, uh, share, and subscribe to my channel, Opinina's Kitchen. Until my next video, guys. Bye!